Guess what I found? And the myriad of spells. Hey, Marcia. The myriad of spells. I was looking for something. Look what I have here. Protection from petrification. But no one can use it. Well, it's worth a shot. Anyone else have anything? Protection from electricity, protection from undead, shadow door. Jeez. So it looks like the only thing that's keeping us from going is uh, Dianir. And she is currently dead. Potion of fire breath. Magic protection. Children's strength antidote. Explosions. Oil of speed. Fortitude. Fiery burning. Visibility. Let's try it. I've saved, right? Yes, you've a task. I'll do my best. your party before venturing forth all right we've scouted let's talk to this guy <sighs> about time you got here Pratt it is Pratt isn't it I don't need to tell you that we must not keep the Severk waiting I trust you didn't have any trouble in there said that the monks fell for the ruse and that trumpet was locked up so we took the surface route of the keep instead of meeting you and the crypts we must really get moving if we are to catch up with him. I'm terribly sorry, but I'm not who you think I am. I am Trumpet, and I don't appreciate being butt of conspiracy. Oh yes, Pratt, that's me, right? What's the point of us waiting in the crypts again? I'm Pratt. Pratt is indeed my name. Where are we supposed to meet up with the Savirk? Pratt's my name, the Savirk person. Who is he again? Point? Did Savirk not tell you? I suppose he might not have. He does not have a tendency to only give information on a need-to-know basis. It hardly matters now, though. The monks of the keep are firmly of the belief that Trumpet murdered the Iron Throne leaders with no provocation. Trumpet has been locked away, and by the time they are sent to Baldur's Gate for trial, Savurk will have full control of the city. Trumpet's fate will be his to decide. You and your band were not needed to guard the boss's escape route. After all, everything went as planned. Shall we go now? You really shouldn't be telling me this. I'm not who you think I am. I'm the target of your scheme. Do not go anywhere. You can spread against me, and you shall. So you shall die.
<laughs> hey, Danny. Kill them all. <laughs> um, who is he supposed to be again? Where exactly are we supposed to meet up with the work? Back at the Iron Throne base in Baldur's Gate, of course. He has business elsewhere in the city, but no doubt we shall get our bit of coin if we await him there. There is still much left to, to be done, so I doubt he'll show for a while, though. The disgrace of Trumpet will make the road smoother, but we must still act fast. So Rook is notoriously impatient. Let's get moving. Alright then, off we go to meet Savurk. Don't uh, want to have him attacking us like Ritter and the others. That, that was never the plan. Savurk. Um, Merc wouldn't sully his hands on those he didn't seem deem worthy of personally killing. For Trumpet and party to be blamed they were either to be imitated by doppelgangers or fooled into attacking Reltar and the others un unprovoked. You should know this. You, you're you not Pratt, are you? Oh, bloody. A well, bit of a mistake on my part, wasn't it? Oh, well, most of it went according to plan regardless. You'll forgive me if I don't stay for fisticuffs. Cheers. <laughs> nice. All right, we got one party member. All right. Um, I know. Mother Earth. I would plug it had I the power. This way. Wait, we're not stealth. Hidden shadows failed. There we go. All right, we got two of them. Okay. You didn't kill the guys from the Iron Throne and Candlekeep? No, I didn't. I got accused of killing them. Let's talk more fight. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. I'm an idiot. He has the potion. Didn't someone see a potion of mirror eyes in your bag? This potion will protect the drinker from all forms of petrification and gaze attacks. Huh. So we have... One person can drink the invisibility potion, one can be... Yes? Oh, I guess one can just kill them. Alright, let's reload. Evil round every corner. Yes? Yes. You point, I punch. That's what I was thinking about doing. Can if none are better? Oh, my heart's really not in this.
bastard Khalid. If you die, and I, I swear you'll never hear the end of it. Nature's servant awaits. Uh, can I give Nana better? You point, I punch. I can carry no more. Talk more fight. Full plate and packing steel. What's doing damage? Poison damage. Oh, it's not poison anymore. Good. There we go. <sighs> I was concerned about the poison. Yes, with caution. Ugh. What a pain in the butt. Lightning bolt. Again? Third person. Yes. Outside the candle, uh, outside the candle keep crypts, a man named Dear Mid mistook our group for one Who's led by someone named Not Pratt. Or as that, as that was my good fortune, oh, well, since Dear Mid revealed Savok's scheme to use doppelgangers to frame me for the murders of the Iron Throne leaders. Better still, Savok still uh, thinks I'm out of the way. While he has returned to Baldur's Gate, it's time for me to investigate his base and discover why he wants war with Anne. Ah, yes. Life continues to be quite the challenge. You have been accused of murdering the Iron Throne leaders, and the Flaming Fist will undoubtedly hound your every step because of it. Despite all of this, you must return to the city of Baldur's Gate the very lair of your accusers. You must find and expose the one who is responsible for your predicament. You must find Saravok. Saravok. Savok. Whatever. What is the plan? Life continues to be quite the challenge. You have been accused of murdering the Iron Throne leaders and the Flaming Fist will undoubtedly hound your every step because of it. Despite all of this, you must return to the city of Baldur's Gate, the very lair of your accusers. You must find and expose the one who's responsible for the predicament. Alright. Oh, is this the... Where are we to travel? 
Oh, this is out of, it's out of candle keep. Supposed to go. I guess we can go this way. All right, we need to go to a temple to resurrect the lovely Dianeer. Then we can continue on. Oh, right here. Actually, yes. let's go back. Quick save. Go to the friendly our men. Hey, we did it. With caution. Oh, that's right. Um, Jahira needs to level up. Save his breath, weapon reduced by two, Thacko reduced by one, additional hit points gain seven. Anyone else? Okay. Oh, you explored the south quite a bit? I explored the south. Not, maybe not as much as you can. But I felt like I went to the south. Yes. Better cult guide your eye on your travels. go. Everyone's healed up. I could rest until I healed, but I have Think so much gold. Carefully. <laughs> you must gather your party before venturing forth. With caution.
my inn is open to all who behave themselves. Aren't so scarce these days you think as valuable as gold? Not a good thing, not a good thing at all. Ain't going to be long before no one can afford to be well equipped. What will the guards do then? Oh, I need to identify stuff. I'll go back and identify. I need some air. Again, with caution. You must gather your party gather before your party venturing before forth. Venturing you forth. must gather your party before venturing forth. Gather your party before venturing forth. With caution. for magic Vasco's passport Ballistas <laughs> uh, Ring of fire resistance Ballistas passport the Grand Mage Ballista intended this item to aid in the in his travels in the Plane of Fire, and it is said he repeatedly summoned a salamander from that realm to aid in the construction. Salamanders not being known for their patience, it is like it is likely he should have pestered his instructor quite so much. He should not have pestered his instructor quite so much. The finger bearing the finished ring was indeed untouched by the inferno that claimed his tower. Had that finger still been attached, Ballista himself might have failed, fared better. So she can't even learn confusion. Okay, a cleric must not have to know confusion. Mirror image we wanted to learn. 
protection from petrification. Haste. Gold touch. Friends must be a cleric spell. Hate the lightning one and get more damage than the enemies with that thing. Oh, okay. I'll figure it out. Localize is pretty interesting. Probably not something I want to learn though. Inventory management. Inventory management. All right. I think we're good to go. We need to get some more bolts. for her. I think we did. Attacks as your main character with the crossbow. Two 
I don't know if that's... He's killed people with other... weapons. Carefully. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Think carefully. My inn is open to all who behave themselves. A one and a half attacks. Gotcha. <gasps> I don't know what you're asking for. <laughs> one sling. Some bolts. Bullets. Some more bullets. What is the plan? Think carefully. It's been dreadful slow business lately. Yes. Buy some arrows just in case. My inn is open to all who behave themselves. So yeah, next week we'll probably be working on going back into Baldur's Gate. We still got 20 more minutes, but um, again. Don't know how much we're gonna be able to cover. Starcraft next week?
Ah. Think carefully. I think we're good to go now. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I'm actually really happy think we, we were able to do all this. Oh, that's right. We need to sleep. Gosh, dang it. Think carefully. Make sure everyone's rested up. I'm resting. What are you talking about? To all who behave themselves. Tonight you sleep hunted oh. by all, and wake in a dream hunted by one. Tonight you are the monster everyone claims you are, the kobold scorned like a rodent, the ogre that children fear comes in the night. The mobs and their torches now come for you, counting you among the creatures you once did hunt, or so someone would have you believe. Once again you hear the voice, a voice that now makes no secret of its origins. It speaks of destiny and nature, and of evil's bread in the bone. It says you will never be free of the mob, that they will hunt you for what you are. Murder and death run through your heart, and accepting that will supposedly give you power. The essence of Baal within you cannot be ignored. But you have not ignored it. You realize that from the first you have fought the very blood in your veins, fought dagger and claw for each victory, and ultimately you have triumphed. With righteous will, you have turned the dark forces within you to good purpose. Whatever the foundation of your being, you have remade yourself in your own image. There you go. Amidst threats it does not yet know are empty, the voice tries to play upon your doubts, but finds none. As you stare unwavering, the presence grows weaker and weaker. That's As right. As it fades from your mind, one warning does stand out amidst the din. It speaks of others that will listen where you have not, others that will embrace what you have rejected, and others that will be your death. This describes but one man, and you know of no other it could be. He who orchestrated your fall, deceived your comrades, and deserves all that your justice shall meet upon him, Saravak. He is a debt that must be paid to the whole of the Sword Coast. You awake sure of your cause and of what must be done. Oh man. Saravok. Draw upon holy might. What is the plan? Oh, I get another one. Whatever you wish. Cool. Please seat yourselves whatever you wish. Yes. Okay. Yes. Everything's identified, everything's healed up. You must they have extra heals. Before venturing forth. What With more caution. could you want from our party? I mean, we are the epitome of a good party right now. We are what you want in a party. <laughs> are you missing somebody? Again? Oh my goodness. Think carefully. Why'd you stop? Think carefully. Just take your time, trumpet. No worries, we're just waiting for you. You need something, stranger? Hey there, travelers. Y'all seem rather rude. Or perhaps there's a reason for that, eh? Well, I shan't come across as rude. My name's Tomlin. I'm the owner of a small training coaster that operates outside of Barragos. Who do you happen to be? We're just travelers on our way to Baldur's Gate. 
our adventurers fighting against the depravity of the Iron Throne. There's travelers on the way to Baldur's Gate. Ha! Ha! I think there's more to you than that. I recognize you from the wanted posters that have been up put up. I think if you guys want to get into the big city, you're going to need some help. Lucky for you, I can give you that help. For the price. You don't need any help. How can you help us? I'm a smuggler. I smuggle illicit goods from Am into Baldur's Gate. If you pay me 100 gold, I'll smuggle the lot of you into the big city. Uh, we can find it. We can afford that. What can you do then? What? Uh, what you can do then is to follow me into town. I will take care of you and you won't have any problems at all. I hope you don't have any difficulties with my instructions. Think carefully. Something stranger. That wasn't too hard now, was it? I guess there wasn't the large country oh, that I thought there would be. Well, let me shoot. Oh, All right. Well, we just got we just got robbed. Well, that's okay. Where's that guy who wants to join our party? So I believe it's in the docks area. No, wrong area. Think carefully. This one. Right here. Found it. Yes. Did we do it tonight? Yes. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Leave me be, or the guard will have you. Out of my way, interloper. I'm getting off this sinking ship as fast as I can. 100 gold well spent. Cries. I know, right? You will not escape. The Iron Throne will topple before me. Why are you so panicked? Is Savark not, uh, is not Savark in control? I will not debate that he is in control, but whatever his plans, they certainly do not have the good of the Iron Throne in mind. He's abandoned us in favor of his new position, that of soon to be appointed Grand Duke. We are simply to be cast off, and I would not be surprised if he marches the flaming fist through here tomorrow as a show of his stance of, on mercantile crime. Merchant mercantile. The Grand Duke, how can this be? I'll stop him regardless, just as I destroyed your plans in the Cookwood. Um, how can this be? Quite simple, really. He has built up support by pledging to combat the very chaos he himself was sowing. Oh, jeez. I imagine he'll have a fantastic success rate, too, seeing as how he is in total control with our leaders dead. I doubt that he will settle into a nice, quiet, political life, though. It seems like he seems set on causing as much destruction as possible. And I think he is intent on pushing for war with M. <laughs> Core Dragon has some bad memories from the Cloakwood dungeon. Um, uh, why would he pursue such a destructive plan? Uh, what could he gain from it? How should I know? I am no diviner. I only know business, and what he is doing makes very little economic sense. Had he wished to grow rich from dealing in ore that I would have understood. Had he kept the Iron Throne intact, he could have used his upcoming position as Duke to sanction Am and increase our trading power over groups like the Knights of the Shield. As it is, it, he is seemingly intent on abandoning us and launching a bloodbath of a war. 
know this. The people believe in Severak. Uh, Se Se I'm just not going to be able to say it correct. Um, and it will take more than a blade to reduce the statue, uh, stature in the eyes of the public. How can people believe him? Can they not see his nature? People see what they wish. They really wish to see a savior. He offers stability and seems able to deliver. That is more than anyone has been able to give them so far. I tire of this chatter. If you feel you must strike me down, do as you wish. Do not expect me to wait around while you do it, though. Using Anthro and resources to fund his rise to power in Baldur's Gate. So just think on. carefully. Who? Get out of my way. I don't care who you are. I just went out of here. None shall escape. I'll kill you all. It is who are you? Peng is the name, and I'll thank you kindly to get out of my way. I don't care why you're here. Take all you wish if you are thieves. I just want to leave. That's Saravok. Um, has become too big for his britches. Our leaders weren't a day dead before he declared the Iron Throne to be his. Saravok has a very good PR team. I know, right? Then you won't mind if I help myself to your coffers, will you? Uh, it does not matter. I will destroy all of your guys. Bah! They're nearly empty regardless. Servak, um, has been making decisions on the sidelines for some time now, and it has cost us all plenty. He does not seem concerned with profits or much of anything. The iron shortage became his pet project, but he has used it to inflame tensions instead of build business. But has brought us down as sure as if he was some hero. What reason he would have to provoke a war? I don't know. Enjoy your looting. I am leaving for good. Mm, perhaps this group leaves. needs not quite as much help as I thought. Yes? Who are you? Have your business here? Ah, oh, what does it matter? Everything is in shambles. I'm here to put an end to the Iron Throne. I expected more resistance in my breaking in. What is going on here? There's very little going on here. Everything is falling apart as we speak. And one person is to blame. I and I shall be... Um, and just who might that be? Might that be? Serac is a foul spawn that surely did the deed. He craves the power of the Iron Throne. But for what purpose, I do not know. He throws away gold like it was copper and uses our best laid plans to inflame governments instead of bargaining for wealth. He's in line to become a grand duke because his efforts to fight his own chaos, but I doubt his coronation will stop his lust for carnage. Who are you, by the way? What are you doing here? to kill Savark for what he's done. Then I shall let you pass. The more blades that chase Saravark this night, the better. I must go now. I met Gregor, the son of Brunos, one of the murdered Iron Throne leaders. He is positive that Savark orchestrated the whole assassination in order to assume control of the Iron Throne. Saravark has apparently used the throne's best plots to inflame the region. Instead, of to secure wealth and power. He now campaigns to become Grand Duke on the premise that he will fight the chaos he himself created. What he hopes to accomplish once he is Grand Duke, no one seems to know. The region is peer, peer, peerlessly close to war. What is the plan? With caution. Touch me not! 
You are unclean. You there, stand your ground a moment. I demand to know what is going on here. I have been sent from Symbia to determine why this branch of the Iron Throne has foundered. Uh, and I have found no one who will stand still more than a second. What in blaze is going on here? What's going on? The Iron Throne is in big trouble, and I am the cause. Why not ask Sever Serevark? He seems to be the one in control now. That upstart? Then the rumors I have heard are true. Our regional leaders here are dead, and Serevark has assumed their roles. Such arrogance. No doubt he has a hand in their demise, I'll wager. That would explain why we have not been getting reports on progress here on the coast. But what could be up? But what could he be up to? I shall have to report these findings to my superiors at once. What is your name and rank here? I shall report of you as well. Lieutenant Trumpet in charge of security. <laughs> um, actually, I am the person accused of killing the Iron Throne leaders. Are you now? From what I have heard, Saravark may have had a far more active role in that killing than any outsider. So what have you come here to do? Destroy us all to restore your name? It would seem that we are now we now have a mutual enemy of sorts. I think my superiors would not be ungrateful if you were to remove Saravark from this organization. I would almost call this outpost of the Iron Throne a complete loss. Though with Saravark gone, perhaps it could be built anew. Perhaps it could, though I doubt people would trust you. What if I had to say that? People trust whom they wish to trust, whether there is reason or not. I would imagine that is why Saravark has flourished. Plays on people's fears masterfully. If he were not so destructive, he would have been a great asset. What is he up to? No matter. I will report all of this, and we will wash our hands of the whole problem. Good day, and goodbye. <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> Says Minx. Trumpet, I don't know. I think, got, I think I got fired. With caution. What? Enough. Game no longer entertains. I shall go seek another. One with less tensionless competition. Fairly well, mortal. Wait. With caution. Yes. Are they not here? Is he not here? Hmm, so you've come back. If you were smart, Trumpet, you would have left well long, well enough alone. I don't know how you escaped my lord's trap with Candlekeep, but you won't be getting any farther than here. Why did you come back here? I would have thought that you'd go after Saravark directly. Someone told us that this place... Uh, this would be the place to go. Who told you to come here? Who betrayed my lord? It was Tamok. Tamoko, wasn't it? I always knew her to be a traitorous. <laughs> well, it matters little if she did or not. All that matters is that you will die. Yes. He needed a quick save. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> oh, man. Bleed. Wait. Do not kill me. Please, I... I will tell you where to go find my lord. The under... The underseller is where you wish to go. It is there that you will find Saravark. You can reach the Underseller through the sewers. Please let me go. I am shamed by my lack of courage. I should, should be a coward now you die. Here's all your possessions and we get on my website. Take everything, it matters little. My life is forfeit. Whoa, 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 yes. whoa. With caution.
You point, I punch. Cool one, son. Yes, O oh, Omnipre. As good as done. Servak, I have received your letter and I'm quite overjoyed by your proposition. I have told my wife and she is excited as I am. I accept your mission and think your payment is very adequate. This will be our greatest feat yet to kill three Grand Dukes of Baldur's Gate. We will be arriving in Baldur's Gate within a week and should be taking up our usual residence in the Undercellar. If you wish to contact us, you will find us there. Use the access points through the sewers. Joyfully yours, Slythe. Pratt, my schemes have come together in a most satisfying manner. The mercenaries who have plagued my every... St um... Aha. Mercenaries who have plagued by every step are now imprisoned, accused with the murder of Railtar, Brunos, and Th Thaldorn. Learn as much as you can about the fate of the mercenaries and then meet me back at Baldur's Gate. I apologize for leaving you here alone, but it was but necessary to return to the city as to take Railtar's position as chief of operations. If things proceed smoothly, I will be a Grand Duke within a few weeks. I don't know if I took anything else. Here we go. The Diary of Servok. Oh, jeez. Uh, does anyone want to read? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to let YouTube... Okay, if you want to read, I'm pausing it. Pause. Pause. <laughs> okay, pause. Pause. Ah, oh, look here, it's trumpet. time to write but I mu must not neglect my journals so the future the future dead must know of how the lord of murder again came to them I shall hire a scribe when time allows things have not gone completely as I had planned but I s will still be able to salvage the situation trumpet is on the move to Baldur's Gate if I could maneuver th the wealth to candle keep then I then I would have the perfect scapegoat for my plan. My immortal father, Realtar, is there to meet me with the Knights of the Shield. He has been blocking all my attempts to escalate the hostilities between Am and Baldur's Gate. These meetings will only serve to smooth the relations. I must rid myself of them all and assume control of the Iron Throne myself. I cannot allow petty business and monetary concerns to interfere. Terribly sorry, Father, but my true uh, parentage calls and you are in my way. I shall be sure to instruct the doppelgangers in the exact manner Realtor should die. I think a Garrote would be perfect for the task. This diary looks to be important. You should probably keep it on your person. <laughs> diary of Sifric. Dear Diary, today I eat an orange. Seravar. I must say that our first victim was not the challenge that my wife and I ex expected. The foppish idiot had only the most token of defenses. However, I can assure you that Entar seemed quite deliciously all the way to the end. Screamed quite deliciously all the way to the end. I hope that this next mission is much more difficult from what you have told me it would seem to be. Assassinating Two grand dukes in their own palace while they um 
Herring. The high nobles of Baldur's Gate, no less. I cannot wait. I can't wait. You still, uh, you still know where to find us. You should come down and enjoy the pleasure of the Undercellar for yourself. But if you know, but if I know you, that'll never happen. Your obedient servant's life. All right. Well. Again? No, not again. I think that'll be it for me tonight. Um. With caution. We're going to call it there. We finally figured out the beautiful organization of this. Um, quick formation. Um, and we're going to go to the Undercellar next week. If um, my schedule allows for it. I don't know what's uh, on the schedule for working this Saturday. So please look at Twitter. And um, if you're not a part of my Discord, um, I can link that in the Twitch channel. Boom. So you guys can be a part of that and get updates on when things happen. So yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, the raid feature is now available. If you guys would like to go raid, I have somebody in mind. If you guys would uh, want to go raid with me. If not, that's okay, we'll just host. Um, but yeah. Um, let me know in chat if you uh, want to, and if enough people will, will go and do that. If not, we'll just host. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.